sure to check out Ageless Geeks for your figures and collectibles. So what is going on my fellow collectors? How is everybody doing today? Garrett on 18 here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Bandai Tamashii Nation's SH Fig Yards Super Boo. So let's get into it right away and take a quick look at the box. So we do get the basic style box when it comes to the SH Fig Yards Dragon Ball line. This one's just a little bit bigger since the figure is a bit taller. So we do get the window right there in the front of the box, and on the window, Mike does say SH Fig Yards, Macho Boo, and we do get the Tamashii Nation's quality sticker on the right side. We do get a cool image of the figure, then we do get the warning, blah, 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 to animation, Dragon Ball Z, Tamashii Nation's and Bandai. And then here is the bottom of the box with a cool black and white image of Super Boo there. Same thing on the top of the box. And on the one side, we do get the continuation of the window there. And then the other side of the box has some more black and white images of the figure. Then the back of it does have a bunch of really cool poses you can get the figure into along with some of the accessories. But anyway, that is the packaging. Let's get this figure. I want to take a closer look at Majin Boo's super form since he has about a billion different other ones. Alrighty, taking a closer detail look, and holy crap, Tamashii Nations is on a roll this year. So far, with their SH Figure Arts Dragon Ball figures, this Super Boo is, is just amazing. They, they absolutely killed it with this figure here. Now, the face sculpts, all of them, I think, look great. This is the one that does come on the figure out of the packaging. Beautiful sculpt and paint all throughout it, and the holes are sculpted on there. I don't know if you could tell, but they are painted very clean as well same with the eyes and the mouth and everything and we do get his head tail there be careful of this because if you saw my unboxing video mine did break on my fat boos uh extra interchangeable head that's included with this super boo here but uh the sculpt and everything looks great too on the neck on the torso the holes once again are sculpted on the uh the torso or the chest right there and on the arms as well they did add shading very subtle shading on the pants but they didn't add any on the skin tone which which I think it would have looked nice, but uh, I mean, I guess beggars can't be choosers. But overall, everything did turn out really nice. The sculpt of the torso looks great. Same with on the back. The holes are sculpted once again. Very nice sculpt on the muscle definition there. And then the arms turned out pretty good too. The elbow joints are just kind of ugly looking. But really not that big of a deal. And then we do get the gauntlets around his lower arms there. And the hands look pretty good too. Then we do get the Majin belt I guess right there then we do get his extremely baggy pants which have some very nice subtle shading uh, here and there throughout them which looks really nice and the sculpted wrinkles turned out really cool on this as well and the knee joints uh, are awesome this is how they should always make knee joints on a Dragon Ball figure who wears very baggy pants like Goku but uh, the sculpt it just looks awesome man and then the lower legs look pretty cool on the feet Get a little bit of a like sculpted wrinkles up by the toes there and on the bottom. Not too much going on, but overall, Tamashii Nations really did knock it out of the park with this Super Boo, and I don't think they could have done any better of a job when it comes to the paint sculpt. But anyway, let's continue on. Moving on to the accessories, we get some pretty cool stuff included with this Super Boo. So what we do get, we do get three interchangeable heads or faces. Then starting on the left, we do get the evil smiling type face, which is the face that does come on the figure out of the packaging. And then in the middle, we do get the angry or stern type looking face. And those two are definitely my favorites. And then finally, all the way on the right, we do get the yelling, screaming, really pissed off super boo face with the veins sculpted on the top of the head and everything like that. But they did a beautiful job with the sculpt and paint on all three heads and they're very easy to swap out i'll show you how to do that right now quickly and swapping the heads on boo is pretty simple so when you want to put a new one on just take this one pull up and it'll pop right off the joint and then just take the new head push down on the joint and it'll pop right on and then there you go as simple as that so we do get those three interchangeable heads and then we also get another interchangeable head, but this one is meant for Majin Buu. And then we do get an energy effect as well. So we do get this face here for Majin Buu or Fat Buu, whatever you like to call him. And mine did break on me. If you saw my unboxing video, I was trying to put on the energy effect and it just snapped this piece off. So just be careful with yours. But they, they did some nice work with the sculpt and paint on it and it fits on. Uh, the Majin Buu figure perfectly fine. Then we do get the energy effect here when he turns people into candy. And it's a very nice pink translucent plastic and has some very nice sculpt detail all throughout it. And I'll show you what this looks like on Majin Buu. 
right now. And here is what the extra interchangeable Majin Buu head looks like on the Majin Buu figure with the energy effect as well. And it looks pretty cool once you do have it on the figure. As I mentioned, mine broke, so I didn't fully peg it in. But it does look cool uh, having this with the Majin Buu figure. So we do get that. And then we also get eight alternate hands and starting on the top right here we do get a pair of open resting type hands which are the hands that do come on the figure out of the packaging and the hands are pretty simple to swap out they're just a very tight fit then we do get a pair of fists a pair of open palm blast hands a right pointing finger hand and then a left come here type hand and i wish they did give us a thumbs down hand that definitely would have been cool but we get some very nice sculpt and paint detail throughout all eight hands but anyway that is all the accessories included with super boo let's keep moving on with the rest of the review shall we now for the height of super boo to the very top of his head it looks like he's about seven and a half inches tall and to the very top of his head tail he's a little bit over eight inches tall and then here he is compared to the sh figure art super saiyan go tanks machin boo saiyan man and the san diego comic-con piccolo and they never realized how tall Super Boo was. And then here he is compared to a bunch of the other SH figure arts Dragon Ball figures, and he's pretty much as tall as Broly. And then here he is compared to the Storm Collectible Smoke, the SH figure arts Sage Mode Naruto, the Mafex Justice League Batman, and the Figma Black Swordsman Guts. And then here he is compared to the SH figure arts Awakened Warrior Super Saiyan Goku and the Mezco 112 Deadpool. You know where there's some quick comparisons? Let's keep moving on with the rest of the review! So now for the articulation, and this is also where this figure does shine. So we do have two joints at the neck here. The upper neck joint is a barbell type joint. It's not what we're usually used to seeing, which is a ball hinge, so that's definitely cool. So the upper neck here, you can get Boo to pretty much look all the way up. Doesn't really look down at all with the upper neck, but you do get really nice pivot, as you can see right there. So, excellent uh, neck pivot at the upper neck, and then, of course, it does swivel. The lower neck here does go forward and back pretty well, but when you move the lower neck back, it does go above the chest, and you have to be careful. You can see a couple indents on mine because it was hitting up against the chest when I would tuck it back under, so make sure you don't hit the chest with the uh, lower neck there. You don't want to damage it or anything, but with both joints, you can get boo to look down pretty good and both joints he does look up a little bit more but you do see the gap there so you might want to be cautious of that and then you do get a little bit of pivot and then it does swivel as well so a very nice movement at both the neck joints then we do get a point of articulation at the torso actually two points so we do have the upper torso and then a mid torso joint the mid torso joint is very minimal minimal and kind of pointless but the upper torso here does shift up just a tiny bit so you do get all right, forward movement, not the best going back though. And then you would have nice pivot, but you could see these pieces are bumping into each other. So you can't really get it to pivot too much. And then you do get very nice swivel there. The mid torso joint really does not move forward and back at all. Really doesn't pivot and it, it does swivel. That's what it does the best, swivel. And the waist, it's like it can swivel, but it, it's it's, like springing right back so i don't think that is a point of articulation i don't want you to risk breaking your figure so don't try to articulate it now the arms here we do have a really nice butterfly joint as you can see right there so you can bring the arms really far forward but you do see a very ugly gap there so some people might not like the way that looks but you do get nice movement with the butterfly joint and then you do get a little bit of a circular motion which is definitely awesome and then the arms do go out to the sides a lot more than 90 degrees they do go up and down we have the true bicep swivel double jointed elbows that pretty much bend in all the way then we do have a swivel at the gauntlets and then we just have a ball peg on the uh, wrist here so it can swivel and you can move it all around the top of the gauntlet does get in the way a little bit but not too much it's not as bad as you would think it is now for the legs here you can get Boo to kick forward a lot more than 90 degrees, so that's definitely awesome. Goes to the back a little more than 90 degrees. Let's see if he can Jean-Claude Van Damme it. And holy crappioli, he can. So great leg movement with uh, Boo here. Then we do get the upper thigh swivel, which is very tight. Then we do have the double-jointed knees that bend back 90 degrees, so that's definitely good. You do see some gappage right there which nah, whatever I don't I don't really mind it but uh the ankles here they do swivel 
they hinge up not too much same with not hinging down that well and then you just get a little bit of an ankle pivot not the best though and then you do get a tiny little toe hinge so overall this super boo is actually loaded with some pretty good articulation some points not as good as other but most points are pretty damn good and you're going to be able to get them into pretty much any type of super boo like poses and i'm about to show you some of them right about now but anyway that is my review of the sh figyard super boo hope you enjoyed it if i had to rate this figure between a one through ten i definitely have to give this a perfecto 10, 10, 10. If you would like to know the price more to buy this figure, I did have mine imported from Japan from Anime Export. And I know my buddy from Ageless Geeks is sold out as of right now, but you can always check back at agelessgeeks.com or I would recommend going through their Instagram or Facebook page. I will put more information in the description below. And if you would like to support the channel, don't forget to subscribe and click on that notification bell. And if you liked it, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, oh well, I guess you didn't like it, but thanks for watching. I will see you later. of the window and then the other side have some has have some <laughs> so we do get the window right there on the front of the box and on the window might just is able to bam, 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 blah, blah, blah. on the right side we do get a cool image of the figure there then on the blah 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 blah, 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 blah. an extra interchangeable f uh, <laughs> come over here type hand and then <laughs> hands and they are fairly simple to, t to what that is definitely good uh whoops i ripped his head off <laughs> just trying to show you how much he looks down god dummy the waist here the waist the uh the mid torso doesn't really go forward and back too much actually oh my god you stupid marching boo head damn you